but uh, we're just gonna... So I hope I can get through this without tearing up too much. Thank you. Thank you guys. So we've worked so hard to teach personal leadership here at Carmel. And when you have a student who exemplifies everything there is about personal leadership and really takes charge, it just inspires you. And this young lady had a sister, her name was Cheyenne, who passed away many years ago from brain cancer. And at the, I, I hope I can make it through this. <coughs> At the beginning of the year, she came to my office, she was with her mother, and we talked about the whole story of how she passed away. And some of you may have seen her donation jar in the office at the beginning of the school year. And she came to me and I said, what are you, what are you thinking? She goes, I want to do something, Mr. Gutcher. I want to do something to make a difference. And so she told me the whole story and I said, I think a great way for you to share this story and to make a difference, maybe we can uh, share your story through a speech. And so she worked so long and so hard to do this. She went home working with her mother and she had to go through and relive everything that she'd been through with the death of her own sister. And imagine that. You've lost a sister and then to share that story with others. So on our leadership day in March, she had prepared her speech, had rehearsed it and practiced it. And she, she just calm, she's poised, She's incredibly eloquent, and, and she's just easy going. I love that about this young lady, because she got up here on this podium and shared one of the most touching, powerful speeches I've ever heard a fourth grader share before. And she was standing over here, and after she told the entire story, we had Samantha's jar, which is our giving jar off to the side. She inspired so many adults, and some of you may have been there on that day. When she had shared her story, I'm not joking, it's one of the most touching moments I've ever had in 20 years as an educator. But literally dozens of parents stood up and started reaching into their, their purses and their pocketbooks, and pulling out wads of money. And it was totally unrehearsed, but she had inspired at least 50 parents that day. They swarmed up to the stage and just started throwing money into Samantha's jar. And because of that, and of her courage, and of her inspiration, and of her leadership, she raised over $750 for pediatric cancer. <laughs> this young lady inspires me. She is a true leader. And so I'm really proud to give this humanitarian award to Devonley Broswell.